Hi, welcome to my groomer's guide to cleaning your dog's ears at home. I hope you find this video helpful and I have included the link to my blog post with a ton of information and advice in the description. And these two are my personal dogs, Keiko and Monster. Some dogs are used to their ears being touched, handled, cleaned, or plucked, but others not so much. It's very common for dogs to be sensitive with their ears, so depending on your dog's comfort level, it may be a good idea to work slowly on handling them before trying to clean them. Start by touching and massaging the outside portion of their ear and give them lots of treats and praise. Once you're comfortable with that, you can start by touching the inside of the ear. Open up the ear to expose the ear canal and gently handle around the base of the ear. Do this a few times a day for as long as it takes for your pup to be okay with it. Your main goal is to create a positive association. You can do this by offering treats, toys, or affection when they're displaying behaviors that you want to encourage. When your dog is calm and comfortable, give them lots of treats and praise. Avoid giving them treats if they're acting up or pulling away. Keeping your dog's ears clean is an important part of canine care. Some dogs have naturally healthy ears that stay clean, while others require regular cleaning to prevent the buildup of dirt, wax, and oils. Breeds with floppy ears like Monster here, who's a boxer, as well as Basset Hounds and Cocker Spaniels, are especially prone to ear infections, but all breeds can develop them. It's a good idea to develop a routine to check inside your dog's ears in order to spot potential problems or ear infections. This allows you to take proactive measures before any issues develop into something more serious. Some signs of potential problems include a pungent odor, discharge, blood, irritated or red skin, and inflammation. If you come across any of these issues, it might be a good idea to have it checked out by your vet. This is the inside of Keiko's ear. As you can see, the skin is pink and healthy, and there's no sign of discharge, redness, or swelling. And this is Monster's ear before cleaning them. His ears tend to be a little dirtier than Keiko's, but his ears appear to be normal as well. The first thing you'll need to clean the ears is ear cleansing solution. I use Pro Ear Alcohol Free Ear Cleanser because it cleans well, it's gentle on the ears, and has a really nice smell. You'll also need some cotton balls or cotton swabs. I don't recommend ever using Q-tips on dogs for any reason. First, wet the cotton ball with the solution and hold the ear flap upright so you can see the ear canal. Gently swab the inside of the ear with the cotton ball. Make sure you only clean the visible part of the ear canal. If the cotton ball comes out dirty, use another one and repeat until the cotton ball comes out clean. The skin within the ear is very sensitive, so be gentle. It's a good idea to reward your pup with treats when you're all done. Thank you so much for watching. I have included everything I talked about in this video on our blog at custompetgrooming.com. I go over everything I talked about as well as how to pluck your dog's ears and do ear flushing, so feel free to check that out. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more tips and how-to videos. The links to everything will be in the description. See you soon. Stay healthy.